Good morning, good morning, good morning. How we doing out there, guys? Genesis, the beginning, a moment of creation, a chance to begin anew, and yet a moment of revelation, a chance to close shut the book of 2019, to close shut the book of the most recent RCS championship, and a chance to write the final chapter in the book of rivals. 220 players have joined us in Oakland, California for the largest rivals event of all time. And six players remain. Who will seize this opportunity to call themselves the best player in the world? Our first match from loser's side. Representing Nevermore International. The literal keyboard warrior and the number one bronze medalist in the world. Representing Tampa Gang Windows. And his opponent, the only player with an undefeated record on Cake Assault, your 2019 Heat Wave champion and the disciple of Menace 13. Give it up for Arizona's favorite son, Blue! Last year at Genesis 6 and the winner side, and back then it was a pretty close set. It was uh, like down there to the wire, just like Grass Mirrors always are. This character being that glass cannon with such an incredible dam damage output as well as having so much mobility. But it was Windows that ended up prevailing back then, and they haven't met yet ever since then in bracket because, of course, opposite sides of the country and blue tending to more show up to the grassroots events as opposed to the larger RCS major ones. That being said, I've noticed the change in blue's play style over this past year. Back then, he was really impulsive, looked hard for some really risky edge guards, and couldn't quite line them up on windows. But now he's found that extra bit of chill, that perfect middle path between aggression and passiveness. And that's like the one true way, right? Not too patient, not too aggro. And with that change, this is an entirely new matchup, and he might be able to take windows out and avenge himself for the last year. And they're already starting out with Wildness right here on Tower of Heaven, and Windows starting out with a strong combo, pushing Blue off the side of the stage. Yeah, the big thing for Blue that we've always watched over the years is his punish game is kind of notorious as the Raster player, and Windows, on the other hand, is kind of the opposite, where his neutral has always been what he's been known for. Right, yeah, Windows being that player who will get that lead and then leverage the ability for uh, for the bird to stalk the skies and bait you out to try to follow him. But the thing is, Blue is able to fly too and chase him up to the top and find that first stock. Windows, though, jumping down from the platform and looking immediately to even up the stocks. Like you said, Raster is a glass cannon and that stock ended very quickly, <laughs> less than 30 seconds. We've seen a lot of really quick games here this weekend. I've seen, I think, four different games ended in less than 52 seconds. Yeah, there is there is some matches. Go check out the VODs from uh, Friday and Saturday, but there are some matches that, yeah, went way faster than I ever expected. Windows actually pouncing on Blue, being stuck in the corner. Brilliant parry on the slipstream. That is huge. That line you see across the screen makes Raster move at such a faster speed, finding way more follow-ups than he would otherwise. And this being the mirror, they both benefit from the slipstreams. Yep, they benefit from each other's, which means they can kind of cover the whole stage if one of them does the high and one does the low. It's Blue's opportunity, tries to hunt down an edge guard and he doesn't find it. We have only 20% separating these two players. Honestly, this is an even game because they can both kill with a smash attack. Yep. We and there we saw a change over the past year where Blue's uh, slipstream was actually hit by Windows hitbox and uh, that prevents it from coming out. Mm -hmm. Very important to limit his follow-up options. But seeing both of these players leap out so desperate to line up one of these strong attacks, and that's kind of one of the signature things about Raster that makes him so unique across platform fighters. He's the only character that only has smash attacks in the air, nothing on the ground. He's gonna find himself the beautiful sweet spot on that up special, and Windows takes the slimmest of leads, looking to just hopefully get Blue to do something unsafe. That's another thing about Windows. We, we mentioned how passive he is as a player, but that only works because his reaction time is unreal. He sees the intro frames of an attack and instantly knows whether or not he can get there in time to punish it. Yeah, I think being on keyboard too is kind of part of his playstyle because his reaction always seems to be like next level when it comes to knowing the right thing to do. Did, did he whiff that back air on purpose? Because the parry was just shy of it and immediately afterwards Windows found something more. But it is Windows about to lose his second stock blue at 79%. He can't really afford to get hit. He might die. No, DI incorrectly there. 
yeah, even with the high percent though, in this matchup, just the one combo, he can end it. So he's not out yet. Windows stalking the sty. Once again, Blue getting out of range, and we're actually getting near those awkward percents. Not gonna find the next wow, nair. Blue up. Yeah. Nair almost ending this match. We're at that close to that awkward percent for oh, Blue. Oh! And missed Windows them. getting out of the way, and Blue just flying off the side of the stage and into his death. I thought for sure Blue had just won that match. I thought so too. I think oh Blue thought gosh. so too. I, I saw Windows with like a little sigh of relief. Oh, I got out of the way, and Blue just kept on trucking. I could have swore I even heard like the sound effect of the attack landing. Like, <laughs> it seemed for sure that was a, a Blue victory, but instead Windows comes out up 1-0. Yeah, and that, that ends up being kind of fortunate for Windows because we, we mentioned how light Raster is, and that actually does make the Raster Mirror a little bit challenging as the percents rack up. Because he's so light, he can actually start falling out of confirms at a certain point too. Yeah. And then at that point, you have to line up a smash attack in the air against one of the most mobile air characters in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll see once they start falling out of combos, I think the playstyle gets a little more defensive. Parries become huge. A parry is a guaranteed uh, KO on Raster because he can use his up special mm -hmm. to finish you off. Or, or they just start looking for the whiff that they can punish yeah, that we exactly. saw Windows do on the second stock in the previous game. Yeah, with the tornado, Blue had to land eventually, and uh, Windows just got in there and finished it out. Windows diving in on Blue, evening up these percents. Oh, man, but being a fellow raster, I mean, Blue knows those moments he can get away, those moments he's allowed to talk and just sprinkle in an air dodge or a jump. Great tech to forward air there. Yeah, beautiful. A lot of Rivals players have gotten so good at just punishing techs because they know that's your only option. That Sonic Boom, really crazy stuff. That's another side effect of the Slipstream. When Raster dash attacks with the Slipstream off a platform, that hitbox stays active as he flies off and he's able to find confirms on the other side of the screen. Yeah, it's a big piece of Raster's movement. Oh, oh. this is a huge moment. See, like you said, way too much damage. Though. Normally, forward air sets up into some kind of follow-up, but at this percent, even down tilt, there's no chance of a follow-up because they're just able to DI out. Mm -hmm. And it looks like, oh, yes. So Windows is using his presence. He's essentially doing a 50-50 on Blue being under him and, and t asking Blue, am I going to hit you right now and kill you, or am I waiting for you to air dodge and try to escape and punishing you for it? Windows sneaks his way back on, and beautiful escape, getting away from that next clap. And now here comes more damage. Blue, though, with a big opportunity. Wow. Yep, not going to mess up that parry punish. I would have dropped that parry punish for sure. <laughs> it's so hard sometimes right on the platforms to, like, get what you want. Mm -hmm. I mean, Dan, that's why we're up here. Yeah, this is true, true, true. I'm drowned in pools. Oh. Blue carrying across and lining up the clap. Oh, Perfect DI oh, by Windows. You guys have noticed probably that the screen turns purple every now and then. That is an indicator that no DI can save you, whereas a large spark means no DI will kill you, but there is a way to stay alive. Oh, oh right there we see the, the strong attacks on Raster in the air actually do have a lot of recovery. Yeah, and Blue's not able to make it to the side of the stage and make his way back up. Another. Wow. SD, but he finds himself the next up strong, evens it up just only 12% on blue, and now he's paying the favor to Windows. This combo. Like, Windows so fearless to just answer back mid combo string with his own attacks. He essentially hijacks some of these combos and makes it his own combo. <laughs> oh, catching the air dodge. That clap. Already with no DI, that would have just KO'd. Ooh, Blue this time with Punishing. Not able to follow up afterwards, though. Windows coming in with so much more pressure. And I think a big part of that is he recognizes his usual game plan will not work on Blue because Blue can chase him. Right here, gets him off stage. Beautiful wait. Windows has another opportunity. Tries to fish out with that, that air quickly. dodge was huge. Yeah, you can't dodge finish it. Who takes his time at the top? So much pressure now with this, yeah. these percents. It's like really, we said, they're yeah. playing a lot more uh, defensive well, here. <laughs> it, it's really a matter of who can not just keep tapping the other one, but line up that next strong attack. Blue looking, uh, Windows rather, oh. looking for that down strong offstage for the spike, doesn't get it. It's the next up special, the next clap. 
Unless forward arrow finally killed blue, he's at 180%. He might die to one of these neutral tools. Oh my that's, gosh, that's, all of these almost killing him. I think that's literally what Windows is banking on right now. He's like, I can just neutral you to death. I don't need to oh! fish, but blue is fine going for it. He finds the sour hit of the up special, just getting the very tip of the top arc and taking it there. Blue always has that little bit of that gambling streak in him. Even now, even though he has that little bit of chill, he still has that Arizona heat as well. That was looking like some 2015 rivals. I haven't <laughs> seen the non-sweet spot of a special kill in a very long time, but Blue there. And I know people on the uh, chat will be like, no, it happens all the time. It's definitely <laughs> rare to see it at this high stage. Also, the other thing I want to point out is the stage choice here, right? Windows being that slower, more methodical, wanting to just win out in neutral over time, opting for Fire Capital, one of the largest Blast Zone stages in the game. This is something we saw when uh, he was fighting Matty Ice yesterday. Matty Ice, being the aggressor, would want to go to the smallest Blast Zones available, and Windows wanted to go to the largest ones, and I think we'll see a similar dynamic here between him and Blue as we keep going. Whoop. The interesting thing about Raster, though, when it comes to having big stages is the fact that he combos into kills so much, uh, a lot of times it doesn't even matter, because if he gets you up high and then hits you with an upshot, uh, even the high blast zone won't save you. Mm -hmm. But, but I mean, the space does give him a lot more room to play neutral. Especially considering how these stocks are slowly evolving, right? Where it does become those last hit fests. These two players so proficient at Raster's combo tree, they become that much harder for them to combo each other. So they're forced to look for things like that, just up air into up air to kill. <laughs> at, uh, what was it, 140% on, like, the lightest character in the game? Yeah, they, they've they been showing off, like, early into the, each stock, uh, the combos are flowing, and then they definitely start to play uh, a lot more defensive, a lot more deliberate. Mm -hmm. Oh, Blue coming down this time with an attack early to catch the interception attempt by Windows, but Windows hijacks it, takes the second stock, Windows up 3-1 now. Oh, the second hit oh. in there, but beautiful DI still from Windows at 145%. Yeah, just can't seem to get the, this stock closed out. That wave land was so nice. It was All nice, the and then Blue the still, yeah, Blue still chased it down anyway. That's how ready he was. He finally finds himself that kill. It seems like this weird karmic justice that like. Raster is forced to endure such a long, painful life against himself, but <laughs> ordinarily his suffering is quick and painless. Blue having another chance here. Waiting for Windows to try to get off that platform, gets impatient, and Windows snatches up that opportunity to escape and get a couple hits. Oh, but he just... guys that in, and you cannot do that on Raster. Yeah, I think he tried to go up, but can't hit that diagonal perfectly, and now Windows on his last stock. This is possible for Blue. We have seen him do some insane things off of a single hit. Looking for the escort. Almost dies off the side. And this is the opportunity oh, for Windows. Yeah. Windows gets it. Actually was able to connect that with because he had the current already out. Yeah. And that was again Windows turning the situation against Blue, where Blue extended a little bit too far. Windows escapes the combo, and because Blue expended a few jumps to start that combo to begin with, B Windows has everything he needs then to clean up the rest of that stock. We get the Tower of Heaven run back now by Blue. I mean, technically, Windows can't go here yet because he won, but Blue's completely welcome to counterpick here, and this is now Windows only one game away from taking out Blue, one of the scariest players in a field of terrifying ones. Yeah, I think a lot of the other players in the top six are watching this carefully. I mean, they're scared of both of them, but uh, Blue's punish game has just been so on point in the last couple of tournaments. Oh, I, I literally asked Cake, like, what's your what's your plan if you fight Blue? And he says, well, I think I'm just going to cry. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, at Heatwave, Blue kind of showed how dominant uh, his raster can be when he's playing well. Oof, and just like that, a, a flash of what Blue does to everybody else on the field. Only 36% on him and a parry early on Windows. He just has to just wait and guess what resources Windows is going to choose to use on his way down. And then sometimes Windows comes down swinging. Yeah, they've both done a really good job of mixing up their landings to kind of uh, take the advantage away from the lower player. Mm -hmm. Ooh, finding those spikes, but none of them on stage. Great DI by Blue and turning the situation around. Yeah, almost just takes the stock right there with the down air forward shot. Windows relentless with those up airs. It's so interesting to see the style from Windows where he's just swinging without even being given an invitation of a whiff. There we go. There, there's the, their whiff down tilt that we're used to wow. seeing him punish and gets that next forward strong. The tiniest lead for Windows. Waiting to see if Windows will make his way down, but Windows loves the sky. 
He'd rather roost than land on the ground. And at 52%, 58, 63, this is in that prime combo percent into, cla into Claps with the right DI chase. Right there, we just saw the big difference between the two players. Windows had a big combo going up high and just kind of let it go and come back to stage. Blue would have definitely went to finish it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful and there, parry. Blue with the parry. I was trying to guess Windows down to his last stock. Yeah, he has, this potentially it could be his tournament stock. He might be going home here at fifth place if he doesn't find a way to kill Windows now, but he does. He stays in the bracket alive for one more game. Let's go. Two, two apiece in the two of them. Raster mirrors always end up this way. It's always a nail biter. This character, a complete stress ball to just, just to watch. I can't breathe whenever I see Raster on the screen. So normally when you uh, would see like a, a ditto matchup, the stage, it kind of falls away. But because like we discussed, the two players have a pretty different style, stage becomes really important. Um, the stage choice is huge because Windows wants as much space as he can to operate and Blue wants to close that distance. It's not only as much as much space, but as much like chances to make mistakes, right? Because if you have a huge blast zone, Windows is confident, I'm going to win neutral more often, and the large blast zone will favor that because we're going to sample more and more interactions, and I'll come out on top. And that's why we're having Ethereal Gates, the other massive blast zone stage, because he can't go back to Fire Capital. Right. Windows waiting for the parry. And looking to just try to tack on whatever safe damage you can. Like you pointed out, Dan, Windows knows exactly when the risk is too great and retreats back to stage. Oh, getting parried. This is a big opportunity. And oh. Windows can't DI that. Blue taking the first stock. So the purple uh, takes everything to, into account. So sometimes, even if you DI perfectly, if you don't ASDI down, uh, you can still die off the top. <laughs> oh my god. That's one of those quirks about rivals, because the, each stick can DI. Uh, one is SDI, one is regular DI. You can SDI and DI in different directions, allowing you to survive in even new ways. Yeah, there's a lot of times where I'm playing where I'm like, oh, I DI correctly, and, I, and Trevor's like, did you ASDI? I'm like, uh, <laughs> you know I don't. And even though Windows is behind, we're still seeing him so careful about what his openings are, because he knows if he messes up, Blue can take this next stock too. It's going to go side to side. Sonic booming from platform to platform, Windows and he finds his that. opening. 70% though on him. This is still within the possibility. Yeah, Blue can get something big. Beautiful DI though by Windows. Going far out. Wow, manages to dodge the uh, punish. Finding a few hits. Windows doing a great job bringing this back. Yeah, we have already 61%, but oh, Blue, Blue turns it around. He was out of all resources. He air dodged already. Yeah, and, and still he, got a KO out of that. He, he made his recovery and kill option the same thing. Now Blue only has to take out one more stock to stay in this bracket and to make it to losers' semis. But at 91%, and knowing these two characters, we can never sleep on Raster's ability to get the kill, but Blue stays alive again into that second Sonic Boom attempt. Using such beautiful movement, juking out of the way of Windows' aggression, finally finding these moments where he knows that Windows is looking for the aggression right there, Windows dashing forward and getting caught out of it by Blue. That fastball down air was so sneaky. There we go. Not going to line up the next clap either. Another chance. Yes. Using Win the current to get the up strong. Just one stock left between these two players. That air dodge. Can Windows win a second time in a row against Blue? Can he put up the damage? Beautiful way for the parry on the platform. Can't get much more off of it. And Blue charging up the strong. Oh, Can't kill. It. Just barely. Windows using everything he's got to stall out, waiting for that parry to punish. And going in immediately after seeing the slipstream, Blue looking to, Windows rather, looking to finish off Blue's life, waits for the tornado, lines up the clap and takes it. Windows moving on to loser semis, taking out both rasters back to back, Matty Ice and Blue. A fantastic showing from the master of the raster mirror himself. Windows en route to at least get that bronze medal, but he's looking like he's feeling really good today, being able to take out one of the most terrifying players. If you look at Blue's record, man, almost nothing stops him. Yeah, right there, Windows just clutching it out. That down air, honestly, was huge for him to be able to kind of turn the momentum around, forcing Blue to have to recover without any resources. Yeah.
Blue, Blue was just a, a, a floating duck in the air right above ra uh, Windows's raster, and from there, Windows knew exactly what to do to guarantee the kill. Amazing stuff to start off this top six with, Dan, and I can't wait to see what more of our competitors have to bring to the table. But we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at some of the highlights of that set to just remind us of a lot of the big moments, the huge players. We start out game one on Tower of Heaven, and we had Blue looking pretty good in the beginning, but he did oh. SD right there, right overextending on that final ex uh, combo. And that kind of set the tone. That gave Windows that counter pick advantage, but Blue found that blast from the past, the sour hit up special to take that second game. But here on Fire Capital, Windows managed to take it all away too with that strong up air into up strong. A lot of these clips look really similar in that it's Blue kind of overextending or extending for a kill. Half the time he gets it, and the other <laughs> half of the time he misses it, and that results in him losing the stock. I mean, that's kind of like the spirit of Rivals, too. That's why I love Blue as a player. Is Rivals has so much of that ride-or-die energy. Can you pull it all together at that important clutch final moment? But, of course, you know, only one person gets to move on every single time, as amazing as everyone is. We just have to keep on rolling, have to keep, unfortunately, faces bowing out, but people keep climbing slightly higher to that $17,000 pot total here. The, the grand prize being something incredible, absolutely.